Hello citizens and welcome back. In today's video I would like to talk about dynamic events, how they work, what they do wrong and how can CAG fix this. As always, if you like this video, sacrifice a like and a comment to the YouTube algorithm and subscribe for more. And here's a shout out to our amazing patrons for their support of the channel and the armory. It has been a few years since the introduction of dynamic events into Star Citizen. We now have three available, Xenothreat, Siege of Orison and the Ninetales Blockade. Now, some backers are actually quite annoyed with these events, and to an extent they are not wrong. We generally see each of these events more than once with every major patch. Now, this on its own is not a bad thing. The events generate player engagement and serve as a good base for marketing. However, at least Xenothreat and Siege of Orson make it seem like these should be very, very rare major events, so it doesn't make much sense if they happen multiple times a year. Now, while this is a problem, it will eventually be solved by having multiple star systems and many more dynamic events, so the frequency and locations will somewhat spread out and fix the issue. But this is not the main problem. With the current system, dynamic events are not dynamic at all. They are actually triggered manually by CAG staff and certain aspects can be adjusted by them as the event runs. This is good enough for now and I believe CAG will want to retain this ability moving forward so they can trigger and control major events in the future. However, the goal is for events to be triggered and managed automatically using probability volumes or their equivalent in the new quantum simulation. In short, probability volumes are a reflection of player actions that affect how visible and invisible NPCs in the verse behave. It would be a logical next step to allow these probability volumes to trigger events if certain conditions are met. For example, if many security ships are destroyed in one area, it might trigger the station blockade event automatically. Now, that probably is one of the goals of the dynamic event system. But for that to happen, CAG need to create a very large library of events of various types and sizes. Right now, all events are very focused on combat, but eventually many of us would like to see economy-focused events. For example, if not enough players sell mined minerals in some area, that might cause an industrial shortage, which might lead to increased prices of components and a very high demand, which might make shipping profitable in that direction. But first, CAG need to build a very robust and customizable system that will manage these events. Starting from the point of analyzing the probability volumes and the local states of areas, then using that information to find suitable dynamic events and selecting one that will be applied, and then finally using the modifiers of that event on the state variables and affecting the in-game environment until the event is finished. Now, as far as we know, CAG are building the quantum simulation with this in mind. That's why we are seeing all the monitoring tools and ways to control dynamic events. Now, I'm referring to the Tony Z video from over a year ago, where they demonstrated some of this stuff. So, when are we going to see truly dynamic events? Well, as with everything, it is difficult to say. CAG have quite a lot of work ahead of them if they want to make this happen. But the last time they showed us their progress, it looked very promising already. So I think their first step will be to introduce a variety of new dynamic events, and then they will try to somehow automate them. And with that being said, that's it for tonight. What do you think? Are you tired of the current dynamic events? What kind of dynamic events would you like to see? Let me know in the comments. Thank you for watching, fly safe, and I will see you in the verse.